Our first venture together we call Delicious Donations and what we did is we hosted dinner parties for parents, friends, and friends of friends and instead of paying for dinner we just asked them to make a donation to charity of our choice. And the one we ended up donating all of our funds to is called Common Threads, which is a Chicago-based nonprofit with a strong presence here in Miami. And their mission is to teach underserved kids how to cook and maintain a healthy lifestyle, and we really connected with that mission. My name is Kelly. My name is David. And we are DK Culinary Ventures. We specialize in concept-driven, multi-course tasting menus. I started cooking in eighth grade when I started a baking blog and tried to start a baking company. And I've been cooking for as long as I can remember, just helping my mom in the kitchen with Thanksgiving or family dinners and she would always give me little plastic knives to help chop with and let me stir the soup and things like that. So I started way back when. At the same time that Kelly and I started cooking, I also happened to be taking AP Chemistry with Mr. Camacho in high school. And he really served as one of my first and biggest inspirations still to this day because of the time he spent answering hundreds of questions I had for him from how to grow penicillin roccaforti on agar plates to how to light ice cream on fire without letting it melt. And he really showed me the importance that chemistry plays in the preparation of food. After we did our first venture, Delicious Donations, we launched our Access Dinner Series, which was a traveling pop-up where we hosted dinners at six different venues, and we employed all of our friends to be our staff and waiters. It was a great step for us because it was the first time we were opening our dinners to the public. So the most exciting part of our short culinary career was definitely cooking for Evan Ben, who at the time was the food editor of the Miami Herald. And he came here to eat in the dining room along with 11 other guests. And we weren't really sure what to expect, but he happened to love Kelly's pineapple risotto. And he later featured that in his article of the 10 best dishes in Miami of 2015. We definitely have um, a heavy art and conceptual component that we haven't been able to really show in most of our dinners recently just because of so many complexities of actually making the dinner happen um, with equipment and etc. So definitely going forward we're going to focus more on the creative parts of our process. And I think ultimately we want to create a more immersive experience for the diners, not just the sight of the dishes and the taste of them, but the things you listen to, what else you can see, um, things you can read, poems, songs, symphonies, all of that sort. We really want to try and incorporate into a fully immersive experience. <laughs>